Hi everyone, it's Miss Lisa again, Mrs. Walk. I wanted to show you how to do a half double crochet and a double crochet. Um, so right now I've made a little piece that's just a few rows of single crochet again. And I did three, wait, one, two, three, four single crochets right here on this top row. Now, as you know, if you've watched my other videos and been practicing with single crochet, you just take the hook, put it in the next stitch, uh, yarn over, or just grab it with the hook, pull it through. Then you've got two loops on your hook. You yarn over and pull through those two loops. That's a single crochet. Now when you're doing a half double crochet, you're really just adding one step to that. You are, instead of putting your hook in the next stitch first by itself, you're yarning over first. So yarn over back to front and then put your hook in the next stitch. So you already have these two on your hook. Put your hook in the next stitch and then again yarn over or just grab it. In my case, I just grab it pull that through the stitch and then when you pull that through you'll have three now three loops on your hook okay and then you will yarn over again and pull through all three and that is a half double crochet I'm gonna show you again and then show you what it looks like how that makes a difference a little bit okay so you're gonna yarn over first back to front then put your hook into the next stitch hopefully you can see this yarn over again pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over then pull through all three of those loops that were left on your hook Okay, I'm going to do that one more time real quick and just show you what that looks like. So now I'm just pulling this out a little so I don't lose it, my spot. So if you look here, this is what that difference looks like. These are single crochets. See they're a little smaller and tighter. These are half double crochets. So it goes up. They're a little bit wider. Okay, that's a half double crochet or if you're reading a chart it'll say HDC. Okay, so to do a double crochet, you start the same way as a half. Yarn over, put your hook in the next stitch, grab that thread or yarn over back to front, pull through one. Now, instead of yarning over and pulling through all three, like we do to finish a half double crochet, this is where it changes. You're gonna yarn over again, back to front, pull through just two of those three loops, the first two. Then you'll have two loops on your hook again. I think I split my yarn there, sorry about that. But I'm gonna keep going just to show you. Then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. I'm gonna show you again. Yarn over, back to front, put your hook in the next stitch. Grab your yarn or yarn over back to front again. Pull through the stitch. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, then pull through the last two. That is a double crochet. Now I'm gonna do the last two stitches here that I haven't done real quick and just show you the difference and what it looks like at the end. I love doing double crochets because unravel some more yarn here um, it makes your work work up a little quicker in Texas we don't need real thick uh, warm hats so I like to make things that are double crochet that have a little bit more space but also work up quicker scarves hats all those work up quicker in double crochets okay so I'm gonna pull this little loop so I don't lose my spot but here's where you can see the difference in those stitches these are single crochet these are half doubles and then these are double crochets 
see they're taller, longer. There's a little more space between them, but that's okay. It's not a problem, especially if you pull tight, if you want them to be tighter. Now, if you're making something like a stuffed animal, you may want to use single crochets because you don't want stuffing to come out. But if you're making something else, these double crochets can be a great option. And also, this gives you a nice little ramp edge if you're looking for that shape in a pattern. All right, so there you have it. That's your single crochet, your half double crochets, and your double crochets. All right, good luck. Happy crocheting.